Okay, Jocelyn was about to be here to protect me after her deceiving me so many times he couldn't stand the light without me anymore, even to save himself. And we'll carry on where we left off. Chapter 18. Let's do this, bruv. Let's do this. Attack from behind show, uh, shows a lot of intensive. You should make a fine beginning big. And that's the limit. Uh, and as I was breathing, sigh of relief, I. Uh oh. Emma looped from out of the shop behind me and grabbed me by my hand before he could contact Charles Henry. Flew past me, his fist connected with the man's skull of plex with a sickening crunch. The man kneeled over um, backwards and Charles Henry collapsed, but he stood uh, clutching to his chest. Uh, Charles. And then by his side, and, uh, and propped him, um, him up in my arms, a uh, blood and false came running. Bravo, are you. Are you hurt? No thanks to you. He never touched me. Charles Henry. Wait. He never touched. Hey, excuse me. I think he tried to t touch your arm. I I'm just. Her I'm saying hun. I'm just saying. Charles Henry. Charles Henry. Henry. Arm. Armed. Were recovered in bruises and then blood leaked from the corner of his mouth. Had he been his tongue off or worse? He's. He's erect. Why would you let them to do this to you? What do you mean? Did I make you sad again? And that's not it. No, Charles, no, that's not it. All my pains and frustrations bubble up and boil over. Those men were, look, were looking for me and all you do was <laughs> say they knew where I was. He's right. May you could have fringe ignorance of who they meant or else given the false location and then escaped. There were many a uh, uh, number of... Uh, Options which could have left you such a state, but I didn't want to. Charles, his bloody lips trembled. I've already told Purple so many lies. I've heard her so often with lies and deceit. I can never take any of back. And then just fakes his death. That's why. He pushed his fingers onto his. Wait, he pushed his fingers to his head, talking his nervously. I. I didn't want to lie about you anymore, Purple. <gasps> wow, crazy. Look, his voice was small and hoarse, and but I couldn't feel Charles Henry and tiny being crying out of it in those words. Why? Why would you go this far to protect me? How can I you look into? Uh, how can you look into my eyes and say something like that? What if I get the wrong idea? Charles Henry's eyes sucked, and um, just I pulled him against me. What if I if I end up thinking you're really looking at me? First, pull the half curious, um, conscious Charles Henry onto his bag. Uh, a problem of that went ahead to the nearest uh, main street to hail a, a hail a coach. You don't cut the most dashes figures being to a pub like this. Doctor, haven't I apologized enough yet? Save it for the confessional. I'm merely stating an opinion. Charles Henry was quiet for, oh, quiet for a while as Pauls carried him along, complaining all the way. Doctor, it took me a long time, but I realized something. And that is, Charles Henry tapped Foss's chest over his heart. That warm, squeezing feeling I felt here, it was love. The tender, uh, limitless love that Purple gives me is trying to fill up in the hole in my heart. That's why it feels that way. Charles, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. What, have I, what I was giving everyone and that I got in return it wasn't love, though. It was comforting. It wasn't real love, but I kept saying I loved people or I wanted them to love me like it was nothing. Why could I be so selfish? You're so smart, Doctor. You must know, but you kept quiet for my sake, didn't you? You thought the truth may break me here. Which would have uh, made you even bigger nuisance. I thought I would save myself the trouble. <laughs> really? You're so, so, you're so mean, Doctor. Charles Henry was quiet again for a while, as dropped over a uh, false bag like a cloak. There's just one thing I, I can't figure out, no matter how much I try. Uh, there's just one thing I can't figure out, no matter how much I try. What's that? If I spend more time with Purple, this hole in my heart will f my fill, but if that happens, Purple will go away, won't she? He thought back to the pr uh, promise they made. What? What did he say, Charles? He said he'll let you leave if you teach me that what love is. 
Oprah wants Mosa to is to deliver on her part of the deal with Lord Flowers and go home on the, into the mansion. What are you trying to say, Charles? I know what Purple wants most, but I can't just let her. It's alright, I understand what love is now. I still have a long way to go before I can be like you, but I'll keep learning on my own, um, on my own so you can go home. I can't just um, smile and tell her that. Because I I want to stay with her forever. I don't want I don't ever want to leave her side. Charles Henry's words seem to come from a deep previously untapped well inside him with a heat he had never shown before and this was no longer his inner child cry out to be nurtured. This was a man's genuine desi um, desire for romantic love. Doctor, what I'm, what I'm feeling for purple, do you think it's not love after all? Well, I, w well, I wouldn't be kind to her. And Charles... Purple may indeed be awakening feelings of love in, in you for the first time, but the emotion gripple you now is dominating selfish and cowardly love in its true form is more. You have to puzzle the rest of, uh, rest out for yourself. I can do anything, everything for you. Ugh. Just having he slept for the, oh, the next several days as if he needed all his energy to heal from his wounds. I stayed at his bedside to take care of him. Still no sign of him waking. He has a nice room. I have to say, he has a nice room. Plus, he has a cute little cage. That's cute. I just love the color red and the yellow gold thing. I, like, I don't know why. I, I just like the color. Still no sign of him waking up. Well, said not to worry because vampire power of recovery are much greater than humans, but I can't help it. His physical wounds were, in fact, healing on an automatic rate. But it wasn't just the physical damage that worried me. He's been groaning in his sleep like he's been he's in pain, laying there Charles and um, Charles Henry didn't seem to be re resting peacefully at all. Uh da, 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 what to pick? I have to pick any random one. I guess this is all I can do for now. I stroked his head, hoping it would comfort him aside of whatever dream were tormenting him. Charles Henry door opened, oh that was loud. You've been in here so much, I'm sure you haven't eaten properly. Let, let me watch him for a while. That's very considerate of your fast. By the looks of him, he's having that dream again. What dream? He's spoken about it in the confessional. He said he'd been frightening to go to sleep ever since his time was an executioner. Every time he slept, he would dream in the dream too. Wait, dream in the dream too. He would mount the scaffold and perform in his grim duties. He served the head of the dominant one after another until they lay all around him. When he looked around, they gazed back at him wearing his own face. So he, so he was constantly killing himself? That may be part of what his subconscious was expression. Quite a lowering dream at any rate. If I had that dream before, then once I probably would have sleep again either. No wonder he became an insomniac. Deep within him, Charles Henry did, um, still blamed himself for everything that had happened. What would it take for him to finally take his own head off the chopping block? Oh, hello, long hair, cool Charles. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I coughed. Reach out and look at me with those innocent eyes of yours, Charles Henry Sanson. No one is to believe for this. <sighs> for all the Kusha has fallen him, that's also so. No one's to blame. We have to accept that, don't we? And no one's to blame. What are you referring to? The guys. What are you referring to? Everyone says that when they talk about Charles or performing his duty as execution that no one was to blame. In the vision of his past that Flash showed me and in the era, I'm sure it, is, it says to in the history books too. I think part of the reason they say is to tell him not to blame himself is because it couldn't be helped. But maybe if no one acknowledges his guilt, then no one can really forgive him either. And that's why he has to keep blaming himself. Lewis... Uh, I was 14th, 17th, I don't know, I was the only one to offer Charles Henry an absolution. But then killing someone to important, um, so important to him became another um, part of my sin weighing on Charles Henry's consci consciousness. It was all piling up inside of him. All he could was to continue to blame himself. He sentenced himself without um, parole in a in worse hell than anyone could have worked. I don't need to be sentenced or paranoid, those. If these hands are stained with blood and another would change that. 
word. Charles once said that to me. He doesn't want to be a sentence or paranoid by anyone else. Nothing can erase the past, even though he died in the second um, second time, his soul would still be shackled by the truth. That is the um, cross that he brought. His cross? Yes, it's not a trivial matter to change the future. He's aware of that, but nonetheless, he's working with people in the effort to abolish the death penalty. Boss explained that Charles Henry dominated whether the payment he received from his um, patient to act in um, activities working to change the legal scale. I heard from Love Lad, France won't do anything to do the death penalty until 1981, a long way into the future from where we stand. Charles Henry knew his efforts alone couldn't change that system. But even so, perhaps as atonement, he clung to hope and worked towards that change. The thought it made my heart hurt. Even if his second chance of at life, the world Charles Henry saw was murdered in an unending night. Purple. Yes. If you choose to remain by his side, it will not be easy for you. Why do you put it that way? Are you saying you think I should leave him? No. How um how you choose your life your life has nothing to do with me, however. However, why you wearing hand can grasp nothing, Charles Henry resolved to lean in into his role as the villain for uh for my sake. Well guys, this is gonna be the end. I hope you enjoy it and I'm gonna see you all tomorrow later. Goodbye.